Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to trade uh, a bearish uh, divergence like a pro. How to trade a bearish uh, divergence like a pro. All right. So the first thing first we want to do if we want to trade a bearish divergence like a pro is to use, okay, the best tool, the best trading tool for divergence uh, trading, okay? So what is the best uh, trading tool for divergence trading? So trader talk about the RSI divergence, trader talk about the CCI bearish divergence, trader talk about uh, the stochastic bearish uh, divergence, and so on and so on. What is the best uh, trading tool for trading divergences? Okay, so the best tool for trading divergences is the stochastic indicator, the slow stochastic indicator. So the first thing you want to do if you want to start trading bearish divergences like a pro, you want to use the stochastic indicator. Very, very important. Do not use CCI, do not use RSI. Now, I'm not saying that one cannot trade uh, the CCI divergences. I am not saying that one cannot use the RSI divergences. But what I'm saying is this, that the best tool, the best trading tool for trading bearish divergences is the slow stochastic indicator. Why? Because the primary role of the stochastic indicator is to pinpoint bullish and bearish divergences. And it is the best tool one should use to trade divergences. So if you are trading divergences, use the slow stochastic, all right? The next thing that I want to tell you, so that's the first step, if you want to start trading the bearish divergence like a pro, the second thing that you need to know is which setting, which stochastic setting should you use, all right? In my view, that's my personal view, all right? Feel free to disagree or have your own view. That's very important. We can disagree here. That's fine. But in my view, talking about myself, all right, the best setting for the stochastic, in my experience, is the stochastic uh, 833. Whenever we want to use, okay, the stochastic for divergence trading purposes, use the setting 833. Check it out. See whether this makes sense to you. If you have a better setting, let us know in the comment section. And uh, we can keep the conversation going on. Or you have any suggestion? Well, we are on YouTube. The conversation is open. Leave your comment in the comment section. So my recommendation is that when you want to trade very divergence like a pro, use the stochastic indicator. Use the setting 833. All right. Now you may say to me, George, why we can't use okay the RSI? What is the ultimate role of a RSI? The ultimate role of the RSI indicator is to pinpoint bullish and bearish financial instrument. All right. So we are using the level of, of 50 for the RSI above 50. Those financial instruments are bullish. Below 50, those financial instruments are bearish. So you may say to me, John, why, why, why we can't use uh, the CCI indicator? What is the ultimate role of the CCI indicator? Well, the ultimate role of the CCI indicator is uh, to measure a divergence, okay? Okay, a, not a divergence, a deviation from a specific moving average. So when we are using the CCI period 14, and the CCI period 14 is in overbought zone, it means that the price deviates from the moving average, okay? 14. If it, if it is oversold, it means that the price deviates from moving at 14 to the downside. All right? So, the ultimate role of uh, the CCI, the, of the CCI or the Commodity Channel Index, is to measure the deviation from a specific moving average. But the, but the ultimate role of the stochastic is not about oversold and overbought. It is mainly to pinpoint excellent bearish and bullish divergence. So with those information, I think uh, you are now ready, all right? Test it out first, all right? Test it out and see whether it makes sense to you. And if you accept that, if you agree, then, okay, use the stochastic 
for divergence, okay? So on this chart, I'm on a monthly chart. The next step I will say to you in order to trade, okay, bearish divergence like a pro, you want to understand that the bearish divergence, it is a trading setup. It is not a signal yet. It is the trading setup that will finally generate, okay, the trading signal. But while this is happening, trader will see a divergence. They will consider the divergence as a trading signal and also as a trading entry. Boom, the sell, boom, the buy. But that's not the best way. The divergence, the bearish divergence, is a warning that a financial instrument is likely to start a bearish trend. Now, it's a trading setup. The next step is to use okay, a top-down trading method. So use the stochastic. Use the setting A33. Understand that the, 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 the divergence is a trading setup, not the signal, okay? So one should always use, okay, a top-down trading method, okay, to trade it. All right? It makes sense? All right? It makes sense? All right? Just to write something here, all right? And uh, we'll continue, all right, the convey. Alright. Okay, so on these charts, we have seen now that the stochastic A33 clearly exhibited okay, a bearish divergence. A bearish divergence will take place. Okay, we want to know what is a bearish divergence. A bearish divergence will take place when the stochastic indicator form a lower high. So there was this high followed by a lower high, but the financial instrument is displaying a high for uh, a, a high followed by a higher high. So here we are considering, if you ignore the shadow, the closing price, so this is the high near the closing price here, don't ignore the shadow on top of this candlestick kind of bar. So there was this high followed by a higher high, okay? So the price has exhibited, okay? A higher high at the time when the stochastic is exhibiting okay a lower high this is a bearish divergence so the fourth step to okay to trade the bearish divergence like a pro is once we see the bearish divergence all right we know that it's a trading setup that will generate okay a valid bearish signal the next thing that we want to see is the common central line, okay, along the price to be broken. So the financial instrument, as you can see, must break below the trend line. So it's a process. So first the price form a high and a higher high. Stochastic said, no, that's not true. This high should not be here, should be down. So the stochastic is exhibiting a lower high, telling that the price at the wrong place is overbought. There's a divergence, we will go down. Now we will are patient. Some trader can sell here using a top-down trading method. This is aggressive selling. In that case, you will put a line there, say priority to bearish signal below 13470. Gently, gently, it's going down. Watch out for a trend line because it may find a support. If you are selling here straight away, be aware of the trend line. But the most conservative approach to trade the bearish divergence, like a pro, is to wait for the price to break below the trend line. So, here, after this candle here is below that trend line. Now our bearish divergence is okay maturing. It's getting there. It's cooking. It's, it's a process. So first we see a high and a higher high. So can see display a lower high. So that's the first step. Now we see break the trend line. We say okay, it's maturing. It's not ready. That's why we say that the bearish divergence is a trading setup. The next step after it break below the trend line, it must retest the trend line. So here it is here, break below the trend line. Where is the retest? Can you see? You see this candle here? How it tried to retest the trend line. That's the retest. <laughs> For some time, if you see on the monthly chart, some trader, if you are a new trader, you may not know it's the retest. That's the retest there. It happened. All right? Just there. It happened there. Boom. Touch it. That's the retest. All right? At the retest point, 
We will now implement a top-down trading method. Right there. That's the point where we, re we use the top-down trading method. We, now we have the setup ready. And we are now giving priority to bearish signal below the trend line. If it goes above the trend line for the support, we ignore it. Uh, if you find a resistance on the edge of the trend line after retesting it, we use a top down to the metal to sell it down. All right. As we are selling on the edge of the trend line, like the professional traders using a top down trading method, all right. How do we set a target for this trade? Because the prior was in a rising channel first, you remember the red. A rising channel, if you agree, I draw it roughly, roughly here. One second, please, three days, just to adjust my line. The prior was in a red rising channel before. In order to set a target, we will measure the width of that channel and we project it in the direction of the price, you see here, and we will draw a line that is parallel to the trend line, that's a market geometry, by the way. If you want to know more about market geometry, go to subscribe to Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. So our first target will be on the edge of uh, this trend line here. If it breaks below it, we will project the same width of that original channel in the direction of the price. So we want to know where we are, we can take profit, how this will allow us to manage the trend come out again, we'll project it again in the direction of the price. This, those uh, trend line will help us to set our bearish target, a uh, profit target like a uh, pro. We'll, we can also pay attention to the media line between the two lines. So you see these two lines, we also, we can draw a media line, okay, to monitor the reaction of the price as the price approaching that level. All right, so you can see as the price was going down, you see the tail of this candle. You see this one, the tail of that candle. Oops, this one, this one here. See the tail price going down. They sold it on the edge for this rally to retest. They sold it down. They took their first profit here. Now, look, look what the price did. So, by projecting the width of that channel, they are the red channel, we were projecting the width of it to set targets gently, gently, as the price going down. You can see that people took profit here. The next step, price break below that uh, blue line here, it break below and retest. So this is another invitation to sell right here. Break below, retest. So we have it here, it break below, it try to retest the trailer here. Now we sell it, we manage it to the edge here. We can secure again, we can, okay, reduce our risk, okay, we can secure some of our profit, 50% of our profit, if you are swing trading or more, or we can take our profit all together when it reaches this level. Now, we wait for another entry point. Now, it breaks below that blue line. Now, we test it. Now, we have another very trading setup. What do we need to do here? We'll implement a top-down trading method one more time, and then we take it down where? Here. Next line, you see what's up, you see the doji here? Now we are here, now in fact it stopped there for now, for a while you see that level, okay? On the edge of the, that's not, it's just horizontal line here, it's just going horizontal now. If you continue to go down, it will come to the edge here. One step at a time, this is about how to trade bearish divergence like a pro. You want to make sure, my friend, you are using the stochastic, that's the first thing. The second thing, because it's the best trading tool for trading divergences, you want to use the setting 833. All right, in my view, that's the best setting. You may disagree, which is okay. All right, understand that uh, the, the bearish divergence is a trading setup. It's not a signal yet, but it's the trading setup that will generate the signal and we will select another time frame to enter the trade. All right. Ask this: When is the setup uh, okay ready? The setup is ready when the price breaks below the trend line that is supporting the price. It breaks below and retest it. 
This is where we will apply the top-down telemetry to trade it. If we receive a sell signal on the edge of the trend line and we are selling, we will use the, the, the width of the original channel to set our initial target. Be aware of the median line between two lines also. The price, you, this will allow you us to manage our trade. We break below this trend line, retest it. Well, my friend, you may say to me, John, the price is going too fast. When can I re-enter the trade? This is one example here. It's going down, down, going down. Where can you re-enter? By using the width of this channel. Here it is. He break below this level and retest. Now implement again a top down trading method. If we see it again here, this is what we try to do here. Now the price is not going down anymore. <laughs> In fact, look carefully. This one, he closed a little bit below. This one retest it. People are selling. I can assure you people are selling now, but the price is just going horizontal. The price does not go up or down forever. Sometimes we have horizontal price action. All right. So look out for the stochastic divergence. There's another one here. Look here, my friend. This time we have a bullish stochastic divergence. When the stochastic has displayed a higher low, this is the best tool for trading divergences. Yeah, a higher low at a time when the price has exhibited almost equal low, or you may say, are they equal? Almost equal. Yeah. See, see this one? This one went a little bit below it. It went a little bit down. Will you agree? All right. Will you agree? Will you agree, my friend? Will you agree? You see that if I draw a line here, uh, you may say almost, but it went a little bit below it. All right? A little bit, but equal low. Equal low, higher low is also a bullish divergence here. And here again, we we will, okay, this is a trading setup. We wait for the trend line here to be kaput, which we breaks above and retest. So if you're on a monthly chart, you see like this, you want to see the retest, you can switch to the daily chart to see how the, the behavior of the prior at this point in time drop to another lower time frame to see whether there is a, a beautiful retest of the trend line or not. Another thing I want to mention to you before I close this short video is this. Because I don't want to forget it now, I want to wrap it up soon, my friend. All right. I want you to pay attention to, okay, in order to trade, okay, bearish divergence like a pole, one more thing that we need to pay attention to is the candlestick pattern. All right. <laughs> All right. So whenever you see a bearish divergence or a bullish divergence, watch out for candlestick pattern. There's one here, very beautiful one. You see this candlestick bar here? <laughs> it's a very, very interesting candlestick bar. All right? This one. All right? So, the price did open here, went all the way here. Now, in fact, it went down first. It went down. And then now, it went back all the way up here. But it is slowly back down. So, there are sellers here. And there are buyers here. This is what this candlestick kind of is telling us. There are buyers here. This is a support zone. This is a resistance zone. Orders were placed here to sell. That's why we have the shadow on top. Orders were placed here to buy. That's why we have the tail here. If you see this candlestick kind of bar, remember that. What you need to do, whenever you see this particular exact, this candlestick kind of bar like this, a bullish candlestick kind of bar with a long shadow on top and a long shadow below, you want to do something very interesting. So you will see very often this kind of candlestick bar whenever we are dealing with uh, divergences, especially bearish divergence or bullish divergence, okay? So you will highlight the height of that this specific candlestick bar with a long shadow and a long tail, and you want to highlight the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. Why usually take place, you see this candlestick bar, we highlight, okay, you see, we use Fibonacci retracement and we highlight the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. Now I'm going to remove it. So the horizontal line here is the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, okay? That's the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the range of this uh, okay, candlestick bar. What you want to pay attention to, <laughs> you want to look for an opportunity to sell if the price, okay, D below that 50% level and find a resistance. So here, where are we? Okay, here, this, this, this point here. Are you with me? Right here. You see how the price D below, okay, the 50% Fibonacci expressment level. 
See, he did below it and retest it here. So this is a bearish trading setup. Now, a setup, not signal. You see that the price went up, so you will say priority to bear a signal below 12765, which is the 50% Fibonacci testament level, and priority to bullish signal above. So you are ready to buy below, you are ready, you are ready to sell correction, you are ready to sell below, and you are ready to buy above. If you look carefully on this chart, here there was no sell signal. It was only a bearish trading setup, but was not okay successful he went instead a bomb now look he break below that uh, 50 percent level again look this is the candle again to retain that 50 percent level so when you are using a bearish divergence like this watch out for candlestick pattern that will also help you to improve your bearish divergence trading all right this is the end of this tutorial about uh, how to trade bearish divergences like a pro Use the stochastic indicator, use the setting 833, wait for the common set trend line to be kaput. All right, very, very important. Remember that the bearish divergence is a trading set time that will generate okay, the signal. If the trend line is broken and the prior test uh, that trend line, we have okay, a trading setup. Now we will implement a top down trading method to trade it. If we sell it, we measure the width of the, the channel, we project in the direction of the price to set a profit target. It is also essential for traders to look for candlestick pattern in the vicinity of a bearish divergence. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section and in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the TSTWSYS008 traders talking about how to trade bearish divergence like a pro. Happy trading to you all and I'll speak to you soon.